Right. Um, two, two, three years ago, I went over to the UK to the Bob Graham round. Paul mentioned that. And um, I was on holiday, I was in good shape, and I gate crashed a mates. And I, I, I gate crashed this rich history of mountain running where people give back to the community. And I came away with, a, with an attainment, but I felt a little bit fraudulent. And um, it got me reflecting. And the same year I did an SK, and I, I, saw, I felt a real privilege to be a part of the history of that route and um, to follow in the footsteps of, of, of Colin, really. And I got, I got thinking about, um, could we formalise some recognition for people that could knock this thing off in 24 hours? And one thing Jean said to me earlier was, uh, sorry, said earlier that really resonated with me was, be honest, and if you sort of fancy doing something, just go ahead and do it. Well, I didn't for sort of two years. I just thought to myself, here I am, a POM in New Zealand, and I didn't want to sort of step on the toes of the tramping community and, and um, launch this thing that wasn't really mine to launch. And this idea was just germinating away. And now that 11 people have knocked it off and, and um, it's gathering a bit of momentum, I guess that sort of motivated me to um, do something about it. And um, yeah, I, I, I wanted to uh, kind of formalise and, and recognise people who were putting in the yards to complete this challenge. Um, so what, what we've kind of done is, if you, you click Chris, um, we had a bit of a chat and we came up with some objectives for this, this club. Um, and yeah, there they are really. And there's another column up there. And I, I'm not going to read them, but yeah, click again, Chris. Um, and I think I want to keep this brief because it's been a long evening but I also want to make it moderately profound if that's possible that I, I think on the 24th of May which is what we're on now the season's kind of over for the SK there's snow on the hills now you would have thought that anybody that's going to knock off a 24 hour SK would have done it before the 24th of May so I think tonight's going to be the night where we meet and we're going to present a certificate in 2017 and 2018 and hopefully long, long into the future for people who can test themselves against those mountains and get down the range in under 24 hours. And the first person to do that who I want to really sort of recognise is, is Colin. I'd like you to invite you up here, Colin, because um, you've got a job to do. You thought you were over for the evening. Now, the only people that have seen these are my wife, many times as I said what do you think about the colour on this and this that and the other and the librarian at my school where the is their only colour photocopier in the college <laughs> and I told her that she didn't see me doing what I did today um, so what I wanted I actually wanted one of the um, early weekend 48 hour SK people to present you with yours but they're not here and I, I feel quite inadequate doing this but you really inspired me and as number one to do that, Colin, I'd like to present you with your certificate. And then, you're, that's you now. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm Colin. That's right. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, seeing as you as the first one, we'd like you to hand out the other ones to the other people. Um, so, the next person on that list is a young man called Lawrence Pidcock. Come up and get your certificate. Number two. So you Number two. Just, just ahead of uh, whoever was with you. <laughs> and his uh, partner in crime, Chris Swallow. Next one, well, um, yeah, I've been in touch with Grant. Grant and Matt came up and um, did it from the South Island. They're South Islanders. They're well known in the mountain running community. They couldn't be here. We've got their address. We're going to post it to them. Um, but they send their regards. And um, Matt Bixley was tried for the Barclay Marathon. I don't know if you guys know about that. But that's mm -hmm. These guys are doing big stuff and they're South Islanders. But we invited them up here for our little bit of mountains up there in Wellington. But, yep. So they can't be here, but I hope you watch this, Grant and Matt, because uh, it was great having you guys come down and do our uh, terrors. So that's them. Just worth mentioning that they chipped a bit of time off Chris and Lawrence's time. Yeah, yeah. Just I worth think a mention. Yeah, yeah. They were. Um, Briefly. They were. The, yeah, yeah. They were the fastest. Eh? They. Um, they smashed it. Um, you'll have to go on the website. I can't remember off the top of my head, yeah. but they really smashed the times. Um, I think Grant beasted. 
21.49, they were real fast. Um, and they didn't really know the route, but they're very experienced mountain men. Um, and they've got to and, and reinforce that you need that sort of experience. So the next one is Tim Sutton. Well done, Tim. I'm sure it's you're going to have another. I'm sure you're going to have another crack at it because that was probably <laughs> just a training run for you. So you can chop a bit more time out of that. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Once, once the memory fades a bit. <laughs> okay, nice one, Tim. Um, and yeah, she doesn't know how strong she is. I think if she can really put her mind to it, she can do amazing things. Lou Beckingsale. Thank you. Yeah, just um, give if, a kiss, if, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're up for it, I was going to try and uh, hook up with you for this um, beer beer running thing they've got going because I've got I've got good uh, good history for that, and you sound like you're the ideal woman. You talk after us. Al Shelton, the man that can turn a fun factor at eight at Andersons to extreme pain by a climb. And uh, the Booker Prize winner for his, uh, rendition, his report writing and I think his presentation tonight, uh, Dave Allen. Well done, Dave. If you took off your uh, meditation time, you probably would have cracked the record. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh... <laughs> well done, mate. And uh, the legend that is Gene Beaumont. Yeah. Worth, worth the mention that Jean was the first, although she wasn't the first woman, she was the first over 50. Over 50 woman, yeah. So over, 50 50 over, over 50 person. Over 50 person. Over 50 person, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, Jean. Great, Jean. Thank yeah, thanks, Colin. I think that's... Uh, oh, no, Paul, of course. Still got a couple more. Yeah, yeah. got a couple oh, more. Yeah. yeah, I nearly forgot Paul. Of course, Paul Helm. Oh... Fifty man. First over fifty man, yeah. The oldest. <laughs> and the oldest, yes. Yeah. Right brilliant, on. brilliant. So um, what a great night. Uh, thanks thanks Colin for doing that. Added a bit of uh, class and tradition to the to the whole thing. So I'm glad you made it, mate. It really made it special that you made it up here. So yeah, so that's the end of the evening. So I hope you guys all got something out of it and maybe there's time for a quick beer before you go home. But yeah, thanks for everyone for coming. And it's raising funds for the Orangi range. If you can get in there, especially the Mangatoto end, they're doing amazing stuff with restoring bird life. It's amazing and it's not the odd bird, it's like loads and loads of birds in whole valleys. So um, we're raising money for them and come and do the Orangi undulator in November if you want to run up some hills and feel some pain. So, and the Mukamukamanta, yeah, we're doing going to do that as well in August. So yeah, thanks everyone. Well done.